Welcome back to Coding Goblin. Making a responsive navbar using Alpine.js and Tailwind CSS. I've got a blank, simple project here. I've loaded Tailwind and Alpine already, so let's get on with it. I'm gonna give it a wrapper with a background. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create two menus. We're gonna create the desktop menu and we're gonna create the mobile menu. So this is the easiest way I think to do it. You can do it so you just have one menu and you conditionally attach classes, but I think this is a lot more simple. It's easier to see and it's how I've seen it done in a lot of component libraries. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a button that's gonna display our mobile burger icon and the X icon. So those icons, as you know, will open the menu and close the menu. So first thing I'm gonna do, as I said, is add those. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna use hero icons. So we'll just search here for burger. That'll do. Copy SVG. Paste that in there. And we get our X mark. Copy that SVG as well. Pop that there. Very nice. So let's just tidy this up a little bit. So that's our button sorted, kind of sorted. Now we're gonna add our mobile menu. And we'll add some classes to these in a moment. We're just gonna get the basic markup sorted and then we'll uh, look at styling it. Now we're just gonna add the desktop menu and it's going to be very similar to me so you might as well just copy that. So let's have a little look at what's going on. It's going to look horrible but it will help us figure out what we need to do. So we've got icons and we've got two menus and they look very similar. So first thing we want to do, let's change the text color to white. Save that. Now we can see what's going on at least. We can obviously make this look nicer, but it's not really the point. We're gonna need to change the mobile menu so that they're stacked on top of each other. And we will we'll add a little bit of a gap in between these menu items here. So let's go for our mobile nav. We want them to be blocked. For our mobile nav, we want them to be block. And we want to only show the mobile menu on small screens. And we want to only show the desktop menu on screens larger than small. So we use this. So we say, by default, the mobile nav is showing, so we say block. And then on screens larger than small, it's hidden. So we say small colon hidden. And for the desktop, we want it to be hidden on small screens and visible on screens larger than small. So by default, it needs to be hidden and then small and up, we're gonna say flex. And then I'm gonna give a little gap between these as well. So we'll say gap x4. So let's see what we've got now. So we've got our desktop menu, and if we shrink it down, the desktop disappears and we see our mobile menu. 
that's working. And now we need to just do the same with these icons here. So we want to say visible by default. So we'll say flex and then we'll say small and up hidden. Save that. And now they should be gone. And then when we shrink, they're there. Okay, that's good. So we're going to give this a little bit of padding because it looks terrible. So let's just go. That's a bit better. Right, so our desktop menu is looking fine. Let's keep our screen small and have a look at the mobile navigation menu. So this is where Alpine comes in. And this is amazing. Alpine is so good. It makes your life so easy. jQuery, obviously good, obviously been around for a long time, but Alpine is just on another level for this sort of thing in terms of how easy it is to use. So let's just quickly go to Alpine website. This is how easy it is. So we use this data, X data. So we put this on the outside of the nav menu. It should be nav to be honest with you, shouldn't it? Let's just change that to nav. Anyway, okay. So we're gonna pop this on here. And by default, open is set to false. So this is what we're gonna be using, this open value here. So we're gonna say, on click, we want to toggle this open value. So if the value is false, we wanna make it true. If it's true, we wanna make it false. So we'll say open equals the opposite of open. And by that logic, we wanna say, if the menu is open, we wanna see the X icon. And if it's closed, we wanna see the burger icon. So this is our burger icon here, I believe, the top one, hopefully. So what we do is have a little look at Alpine and we use this X show. And we'll say X show if open is false. And for the X, we wanna show it if open is true. So let's have a little look if that's done anything. Refresh that. So as we know, open is currently false. I know that menu is showing, but we're gonna address that in a second. So that is how this is showing. So let's click it and that should change. Perfect. So now we come down to our mobile nav and we use the exact same thing here. We just copy that, paste that in. And it's as simple as that. Save it, refresh it. And now we have a working mobile nav menu. Doesn't look pretty, I know, but you can style it however you want. And you may have noticed that when we refreshed it, there's a little blip where we saw all of that. We can get rid of that. So if we go to Alpine again, and we wanna find the cloak directive, and let's have a little look at how we use this. Okay, so all you have to do is you have to include this in some style tags. So we'll go down here, style. I don't know what's going on with my indenting here. It's all wonky, but you get the point. I'm fine, I'm calm. So we've included that. And now all we have to do is copy that X cloak and we want to put it on anything that's not going to be showing. Save that. Refresh it. And we don't get that problem anymore. Let's just see what it does if it's not on the mobile. Yeah, so it sorted that problem out for us and it's still working. Now you might be thinking to yourself, that's great and everything, but it looks absolutely awful. And 
you'd be absolutely right thinking that it does look awful that's because designing things is actually quite difficult and making them look good isn't as easy as you might think but luckily we have the solution for that tail kit if you want pre-designed nav bars or any element for that matter any components tail kit's the answer it's got so much on here look at this for example you want a page header responsive i mean that's nice isn't it so if you want something like this makes your life 100 times easier tail kit link in the description that will have you sorted alternatively build it yourself and i'm sure that'll be fine too but i recommend tail kit thanks for watching the end